Hey y'all, Joe here with Southern Coastal Cooking. I am going to do a uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner, whatever side video for you. Some uh, Cajun cornbread dressing. So what I'll show you here is I've got a cast iron skillet heating up here. I'm gonna go in with some Andouille sausage. It's about, you know, I took just one of those normal packs, about one pound, about three quarters of that. And we're gonna saute that off here real quick in the pan, okay? Cast iron. All right, once it's on through, it gets just cooking like this. I got some onions I'm gonna throw in here. It's a large white onion. Okay, throw that one in. Okay, after cooking, I'll lower the heat some. Get that onion cooking there with that sausage. There. Also got some a uh, couple of stalks of celery. Put those in there. That cook as well. About three stalks of celery. All right, we'll just let this saute. All right, y'all. This is done sauteing. I'm just gonna kind of stir it around, leave it here in this hot cast iron, let it cool down a little bit while we mix up everything else. Alright y'all, we're going to continue with this cornbread recipe. i got a big old pan of cornbread right there that uh, we're going to put over here in this bowl. We're going to bust it all up, okay? Alright, now that i got the cornbread busted up, a little different texture. I'm going to add some of this stuffing mix. Herb uh, stuffing, you know, just kind of like croutons. Add a little bit of that. That'll just give it some extra uh, texture, I think. Give it some different. Well, you could add... Just uh, stale white bread or something if you want. But I like to add these croutons here. So, uh, oh yeah. We got those in there. Now, what we're going to add, we'll start adding some, uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, we got to put some eggs in here, y'all. Not Before we do that, let's say, <laughs> let's add some uh, the onions and the celery and stuff like that. And then we'll get that done. All right, I got. Remember uh, the Andouille sausage, all that stuff, and the, and the uh, sautéed onions, sautéed bell pepper. That's what I'm talking about. We we'll get all that goodness. We we'll put all that in here. And y'all, I think we're gonna have to get a bigger bowl or vessel here. I'll just bear with me, all right? Yeah, sorry about that. I had to, had to get this old stock pot here. That just wasn't going to cut it because uh, man, we had stuff splashing out of there and everything else. So we got all that mixed in, all right? Now, I'm going to go with the cost of about three eggs. Let me get those with those eggs off in here. Oh, man. I sure hope I've got enough eggs because uh, I didn't realize I need some eggs. I'm using them. A base recipe uh, for dressing like I do a lot of times but of course I'm making it my own Cajun style with the Andouille sausage and other ingredients like I'm about to show you here in a minute so uh, you got these eggs in here you know what I got one more egg I'm thinking it'll hurt to put, put another egg in there why not you know what I'm saying I'll oh, shoot I throw that one in there and got the uh, with the dead burnt shell all right, got him out. Let's go with some uh, some other stuff here. Seasoning, gotta have Cajun seasoning. Bezels, the only thing I use. Let me get to you uh, the measuring thing for you, you people that gotta see measurings. Let's put a, a good tablespoon of Bezels in here, y'all. Oh man, I just love me some Bezels. Oh yeah, a little extra right there. That'll wake it up for sure. Okay, got that going down out in there. Oh, I got some green onions. Let's throw some green onions in there. Okay. Green onions, bust it up. That'd be good. All right, y'all, cream of chicken soup. About four cups of cream of chicken soup. Interesting, we'll make it nice and creamy. All right, let me get about two more cups of that. 
Bring my chicken soup there. About six cups of good chicken stock. All right, that's one, two. Let's see. Four. And six. Six cups of stock. All right, now, where my spoon go? Yeah, let's bust all this around in here. Stir it up. turn to it like a liquid almost yes sir don't look too good right now but I'm telling y'all what it's gone dude so I'm gonna stir all this get it all incorporated had to give me a longer spoon y'all look at this man I'm going through more dishes and stuff but they my wife will clean this kitchen in the morning all right let's see what's that up there yeah, that's a good dressing there. Now what we'll do, I'm going to take this and put it in the greased cookie, oh, cookie dish, uh, so 3 by 9 you know, Pyrex thing. And let's see what it says. Uh, Preheat oven of 350, pour dressing in 9 by 13 uh, Pyrex, bake until lightly brown about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, I'm not going to do that tonight, y'all, because this is for Thanksgiving. I wanted to make this movie, you know, video before Thanksgiving for y'all. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put it in a freezer, in a, my vacuum seal bags and vacuum seal it. And the state is now, I'm going to actually freeze it because it's Monday or Sunday, actually. And uh, maybe thaw it out on Tuesday or Wednesday and we'll cook it. But anyway, you could just go directly and, uh, and cook it right off there. But that's what we got here. I uh, hope uh, y'all enjoy this. I'm going to try to get some more videos up of me making some stuff for Thanksgiving. Thank y'all so much. Please like my videos, sub my channels. God bless y'all. Thank you so much. Please invite some more people to like my channel and Facebook page. Thank y'all. Y'all, one last ingredient, last but not least, I almost forgot, is a stick of butter. Melt a stick of butter. I'm going to go ahead and stir that in there. 